We are back here at Venice Beach. We're gonna check on the whale. Uh, it is very busy here, it is spring break. It's a sunset and then the whale thing, so... Uh, it's gonna be very crowded on this beach. We are walking here on the boardwalk. We are going to the beach. I see the water already. So we will check in, in about a couple seconds. We will know that uh, the whale is still here or not. Uh, I think it's passed away. Still moving? Yeah, I think so. But it can be also from the current. Eh? I think it's still alive. But it's not moving much anymore, but you can see it on the tail. So we made it back. a sunset that is a very sad one it does kind of appear that it's still breathing but it's not moving its tail anymore I'm gonna try to talk to someone from uh, Florida Wildlife to find out if they eventually euthanized him or not or what is going on but I'm sorry sir okay. did they finally Stop. euthanize Stop. the Stop. animal or no did they finally euthanize no, no? Yeah. I mean it looks like it's, it's alive it's still call. breeding looks like it so my understanding is I'll check on it first first light in the morning oh, okay so I just talked to a police officer apparently there are not too many people from the Florida wildlife anymore, but I talked to, to the police officer and they, I asked him, did you guys were able to euthanize him? And they told me that uh, they tried before, but uh, they failed. And I'm not sure what happened, but they left. And like, I don't see anyone from Florida wildlife here, but they are gonna come back in the morning because they will do an autopsy. Uh, on animal but we see it still breeding and I'm kind of disappointed to see that they weren't able to sedate it and to euthanize it but they maybe have their reasons it is really windy so it might be dangerous still who knows but it's just a very sad day for Venice here okay we made it back to uh, Venice Beach we were here last night. Uh, the whale was still breeding. Unfortunately, it did pass away overnight. And we're just back here to find out, to maybe see if they already found out what the cause of that was. Um, yeah, it's, it's you get an emotional connection to the animal. You saw it breeding, like, especially last night, it was hard to watch. It was almost not moving, and then you only saw it breeding. So it's a sad situation, but I hope they can learn. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. people and yeah, they probably all never seen it well before and it's an opportunity for them to see a whale even if it falls on I was trying to step back one so they are doing an autopsy At the moment they just pulled off the jaw what is horrific to see. 
but um, it's all to probably get to know how it passed away and they're doing something with the teeth now. They probably can uh, determine the age, I would think. Looking away from the whale because it is pretty graphic. So we are here at the autopsy. I didn't learn too much, but for me it was a little too graphic. Rudy made some shots, but I kind of didn't feel to start watching it. So I made a little memorial, it's like a little whale with a flower. And this is my way to say goodbye to the whale. So it's gonna 